Hello and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart, The Fen Treasure. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. So glad you're here today. We try to do these Fen shows for you almost every Friday. We call it a Fen Mail Friday. We address some of your emails and comments on our videos and such. And you may or may not be aware, but since we started covering this Fen Treasure, we have become, uh, and not self-appointed by the way, uh, the Fen Treasure show to go to. And those of you uh, who have switched over from other channels, we thank you very much. We're glad to hear you, to have you uh, here at the show. We really do appreciate our viewers and we really do appreciate each and every one of your comments. Now, Ronnie and I both receive a significant amount of Fen email. A lot of times people don't want to post something uh, that might give away their solve or a clue or tip somebody off or whatever the case may be. Uh, they will email us and uh, you can do that as well. Throughout the show, you'll see the email crawl. Well, we've gotten by them. dozens of solves. Yes. Um, well, and here's the thing. It's one thing to have a solve. We call that researching. Right. Going boots on the ground, that's what makes you a searcher. A searcher. Right? Yeah. So yeah. there's a huge difference. Now, I stumbled onto a person. I'm just going to say a person. It doesn't matter whether it's a man or a woman. But we're going to call this person Bubba the Love Squirrel. And Bubba the Love Squirrel has sent me an email and said pretty much as follows. I'm fed up. I've had it. I've been working on this for a long time. I've spent enough money. I've used up enough of my vacation. I am not going to do this any longer. And he sent me a complete solve and gave me title to the solve. <laughs> so uh, today we thought we would share with you one of the possible solutions to this poem Um and it's with his permission, right. by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bubba the Love Bu Squirrel. Bubba the you Love Squirrel. It. Yeah. All right, Ronnie, take it. Okay, so he starts out, nice to hear from you, Lou. Uh, as of last week, I have finished all research related to Fen Treasure Hunt, put my finger on all the clues slash hints, and double verified everything before calling it good. I discovered this solve within three hours of research after first hearing of the hunt. I followed the directions in the poem precisely that, that night and found my area. I have not strayed from that, just spent the extra time verifying it all. The last piece of the puzzle that needed verification was too far to walk. Okay, so now we are not saying that this is the paramount solution. We are just offering this up. This may include some things that help you in your solve. This may, in fact, be the solve. Could be. We don't know. But I want to make sure you understand we are not saying that. We are just offering this up as a possible solution. So Bubba the Love Squirrel goes on to say, Questions I asked myself. One, why is it that it's spelled in lowercase on the book cover? My answer, he says, hint in the poem. Number two, what is the deal with the picture on the cover? My answer, hint in the poem. The only logical answers were hints in the poem. So what is too far to walk in my area? And how does it relate to the questions I ask myself? Using my imagination, I believe I have the answer. And this is the way that Bubba explained it to me. He goes, Lou, look, I'm going to take you on a plane ride. And as soon as he said that, I thought to myself, okay, Fen has flown over this area many times. Not recently, I wouldn't imagine. He's not, probably not. not doing a lot of flying in no. his age. But he has seen these areas from above and has committed them to his indelible memory. So Bubba wants to take me and Ronnie and all of you on a plane ride to help solve this poem. So 
Ronnie, I came to you with this about a week ago. Right. And you were a little iffy on this. Right. And I understand, but go ahead and take this and explain to people uh, this particular point. And so the one thing, Fenn said he drove a sedan to the hiding spot. Mm -hmm. Or did he fly one? What do you mean? <clears throat> we have a picture of a, a plane here. You're seeing it. Uh, the plane ride you're about to take, uh, you, you are about to take with me, takes us deep into the bellows of my solve. I will explain as we go along. This is the solve, Lou. I will show you my general area, how I got there. I will not fly over the hiding place, or will I? I will send you several emails with the poem. Well, this plane is, it's not on here, but it's a, it's called a sedan. Mm -hmm. The plane is actually called a sedan. The Aero type. sedan, I think. There it was, yeah. Yep. Okay, so... He, you know how he doesn't always tell all of the truth. He said he was in a sedan, but isn't it possible that he could have been in one of these planes? Let's read more. Yep. All right, so where is it that we are going? So many people want to know what state the treasure is in, or they believe it to be in. Well, here's where we're going in our little plane ride today. This is all going to strike a chord when you hear it. We're going to Marvel, Colorado. So Bubba says, how did I get here using the poem? I followed the directions in red text. Look quickly down is one of them. Marvel, another. And go in peace, another in red. Take it, Ronnie. Uh, so... And here's, here's some of the, uh, the parts of the poem. As I have gone alone in there and with my treasure bold, I can keep my secret where in hint of riches new and old. Begin at where warm waters halt. Begin. And, mm -hmm. uh, begin at where warm waters halt and take it in the canyon down. Not far, but too far to walk. Put in below the home of Brown. Uh, from there, it's no place for the meek and the end is ever drawing nigh. There be no paddle up your creek, just heavy loads and water high. If you've been wise and found the blaze... This in red. Look quickly down your quest to cease, but carry tarry scant with marvel gaze. Just take the chest and go in peace. Uh, so why is it that I must go and leave my treasure for all to seek? The answers I already know. Now you said treasure. I'm sorry, but I want to correct you and say trove. Oh, trove. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. As I leave my trove for all to seek, the treasures, the answers I already know. I've done it, tired, and now I'm weak. So hear me all and listen good. Your effort will be worth the cold. If you're brave and in the wood, I give you title to the gold. Okay, so now at this point here, uh, we're showing you a screenshot that is Marvel, Colorado right there. You can see Marvel Grange. You can see Red Mesa Holdings Oil and Gas. And on this next picture here, we're going to zoom in on the last cabin on the northeast side of town. Here it is. Check that out, Ronnie. It's unusual. Uh huh. What we see there is what appears to be a couple canyon. I uh, mean cabins. Mm -hmm. And look at that peace sign. There's a peace sign. And those rectangles. Yep. And uh, Bubba goes on to say, "What we have here are two square trail blazes, telling you to turn left. The long rectangular trail blaze tells you to go straight. So here's what we're gonna do on our plane ride." We're going to go take a left, and then we're going to go straight, and that's going to lead us to the starting point. All uh, right? Okay. Then he goes on to say, are you with me so far? Remember, yes. there are nine clues of the poem. Uh -huh. We're not working off the clues right now. We're no. following directions. Okay. All right. So here's the poem broken down, uh, stanza by stanza. In stanza one, Fan talks about his riches and holding back memories. He says, as I've gone in there alone with my treasures bold, I can keep my secrets where and hint of riches new and old. That is holding back memories, okay? 
Stanza two, Ronnie. Stanza two, the directions begin here, he says. Okay. Begin it where warm waters halt mm -hmm. and take it down the can excuse me, and take it in the canyon down. Not far, but too far to walk. Put in below the home of Brown. Okay, so in this uh, solve, we're going to tell you where uh, Bubba believes warm waters halt and how to take it in the canyon down. We're going to establish what not far but too far to walk is and also the home of Brown. That's all coming up. Stay with us, okay? Stanza three, the directions stop here. From there, it's no place for the meek. We're going to explain that. The end is never is ever drawing nigh. Drawing is an operative word right there. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. There'll be no paddle up your creek. Just heavy loads and water nigh. A oh, high. Excuse me. I'm sorry. So stanza two and three give you directions. What about four? Okay, stanza four. The blaze is in the poem. If you've been wise and found the blaze, look quickly down your quest to cease, but tarry scant with marvel gaze. Just take the chest and go in peace. Stanza four gives you your destination. Okay, so now stanza five is telling us the resting place of the treasure chest. Hold on to your butts. So why is it that I must go and leave my trove for all to seek? The answers I already know. I've done it tired and now I'm weak. Okay, then stanza six, uh, the chill you'll get when you open the hiding place. Mm -hmm. So hear me all and listen good. Your effort will be worth the cold. If you are brave and in the wood, I give you title to the gold. Uh, the treasure chest is named Indulgence, if yes. you didn't already know. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a casket chest, so what, are, what do you do with caskets? Well, Ronnie, you bury them. Yeah. Okay, you with us so far? Bubba goes on to say, I have a general search area, and I have not used one single clue to get here. I simply followed the directions in the poem, and used a few hints to verify my location. We now need nine clues to solve the poem, and Bubba is going to show you all nine of them, and those nine clues are here in red. All right? And I'm just gonna, rather than, we've given you the poem a few times already. Right. Here are the clues that are in red. Uh, my, nigh, Hi, are you sensing a pattern here? Wise. Now, and then I, I, I. The next three are I. Uh huh. Now, I want to tell you at this point, please pay attention. The word wise is crucial here. But what you're going to find out is it's, it's translation is what we're looking for. Yep. All right. Uh, clues lead me to I, the eye of the horse. That is government draw. Mm -hmm. so, so here's a photo of that eye right here. A picture of that. Uh -huh. The one thing about this is this area is higher than the other elevations. It was dug around intentionally and Bubba feels there is a grave there. That is why it was left alone. Notice how there is one single pinion pine growing there. Fenn said he liked to lay at the base of a pine and look straight up. All right. Fenn also said his church is in the wilderness. Now, as you can see in this picture, Church Hollow is right up the creek from the government draw, which is crucial to this solve. Stay with us. Uh, goes on to say, Fenn loves grape at soda. Soda Springs is just east of Cinder Butte. Here it is here in the picture. Uh, Cinder Butte is also high enough to see the entire search area. It's a front row seat to the chase. Think about that for a second. Forrest has said 
that people have been within 500 or 200 feet of the chest. And everybody wants to know how he knows that. Now, I got to believe it's almost next to impossible for Fenn to leave his house now. Yeah. Uh, without somebody following him. Yep. So the likelihood of him going there is pretty slim. But just keep in mind that this is an elevated area. It's not at 10,200 feet by any means, but it is elevated. Right. Here you see a picture of Cinder Butte. And this is better look quickly down in Bubba Solve. The search area is north of Cinder Butte. I'm sure in this picture you can make out the government draw. And that area is, uh, in this picture, uh, southeast. Okay, I think you can see it right in this area here. Uh, he also then goes on to say, uh, after this picture, so in my research, I found the government draw was built in 2009. The rock man, as I call him, was also built in 2009. I went on DuckDuckGo and used old satellite images of the area to verify this. Okay, so this picture here is the home of the rock man pre-2010 right and uh it's hard to see so in this next shot you're actually oh that's not the one i you can see where the water has now joined on both sides right all right there's the water covering up the rock man uh so bubba says why do i find this so important fen said you need nothing more than the poem and a good map to find the treasure map or treasure chest i'm sorry he also said this. Forrest was asked this question by a gentleman named Ron. Not you. I don't not think. me. Okay. Did the same nine clues exist when you were a kid? And to your best estimation, will they still exist in a hundred or a thousand years? Thanks, Ron. Forrest writes back. Uh, thanks, Ron. Thoughtful questions. The clues did not exist when I was a kid, but most of the places the clues refer to did. I think they might still exist in a hundred years. But the geography probably will change before we reach the next millennia. Uh, now, what, I'm, what he, I believe he means by that is in the last photos that we showed you where the two um, reservoirs met in the right. middle. Uh, so, he says, if you are in the year 3009... <laughs> It will be more difficult for you to find the treasure. Yeah, things change. Well, well that and the quickly. fact that Rocky Mountains are actually still moving, evolving and uh -huh. moving. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so first, we'll start off with Marvel, Colorado. All right. As you read on Wiki, it's an unincorporated community. Marvel, Colorado is nothing more than a camp for oil drillers and gold hunters. Hint of riches new and old from the poem. Uh, now, that is not what brought Forrest to Marvel, Colorado. Finn was in search of old Mexican and Indian relics. As we know, that's what he does. Mm -hmm. On the Spanish trail, he was chasing uh, Dominguez Escalante. The Dominguez Escalante route cut right up into our search area, Marvel, Colorado, and is located in La Plata County. Cannibal Canyon got its name back then due to the cannibalism that occurred there in a harsh winter. There is a chapter in Too Far to Walk entitled Pretend Cannibals. Is that a coincidence? Mm. Not exactly sure. So now what you're seeing here is the Dominguez Escalante route as it applies to our search area. And I think that's green that it is it's lined in. This is called the Old Spanish Trail Trade Route. So, go ahead, Ronnie. So, he he goes on to say that Marvel's unincorporated, which means it's not a city. It's a, just part of the county. Uh, this is why Fenn is not worried about the IRS, nor any laws pertaining to the hiding slash hunting on public lands. I believe Fenn owns the spot where the treasure is hidden. That is why he must give you title to the gold. Now, I will say this, and I mentioned this, Lou, earlier. Um, just because it's in an unincorporated part of Marvel, Colorado, 
doesn't mean that the IRS can't still take their share. We are in an unincorporated part of Sacramento County. Uh, and trust me, I still have to pay make payments to IRS every year. Uh, you know, maybe I should be doing that, huh? <laughs> you know, I don't know. I would talk to a tax person. I wouldn't jump at anything. It's yeah, not, couldn't be important. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this now. The starting location. Everybody wants to know where Warm Waters Hall, WWWH. Well, according to Bubba the Love Squirrel, Spring Hollow Bottom. Now, that is... In this shot that you're seeing, it's the bottom right hand side. Oh, there you go. Okay. You see it now? Yep. So here we go. Using directions, no clues. We will follow the creek for a few miles from Spring Hollow and take it in the canyon down. Our creek dumps us out into Third Canyon. Okay. There's a picture of Third Canyon right there, and 134 is the marker route. All right. Okay, now we're looking for too far to walk. Okay. Can you see it? The image of the rock man that mimics the cover of this book. Mm -hmm. It's not far, but too far to walk. Okay, so the next picture here, it, you can see it more vividly. It's zoomed in. It yeah. is fairly dramatic, uh, evident in the second. And that's the image of the rock man that's mimicking the cover on the book yep all right there you have it um now here is that second photo zoomed out and once again you can see uh barely but not you, as dramatic right but it's it's there between those two separate areas mm -hmm. notice the two ponds with uh the rock man in the middle uh, that is where you put in that is below the home of brown okay our next picture here is Cannibal Canyon Trout Ranch, the home of brown trout. And trout is hatched and raised there. What a better secret fishing hole for success that must be. Yep. Hey, stock those ponds. <laughs> okay, this next one. Mm -hmm. From there, it's no place for the meek. He's saying that's Cannibal Canyon. Uh-huh. Uh, and that's right right there at the trout ranch as you can see in this picture are you starting to see this all tied together now yep. yeah i am too okay so the end is ever drawing nigh and drawing being the operative word there because in our search area there is a government draw um from 200 feet this could be whatever you wanted the water at this draw is high and it floods back into overflow areas. And this is the area of the third canyon from the government draw, to the government draw, I'm sorry. All right, there you have it, okay? Okay, uh, then if you look north of third canyon, you will see two small ponds that hold too far to walk, which is the rock man. Mm -hmm. Uh, follow that canyon across the way. It forms a U-shape. You see that green there? This is the end of Fen's rainbow. And it also, you remarked, also looks like the Omega. The Omega. Mm, mm -hmm. A little bit. Now, Bubba goes on to say, we have not used one single clue yet. All of the directions have been followed. We have our area. Also, there's this. The one thing that Fen has done alone in his life is eject from a fighter plane. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Just northeast of Marvel, Colorado, is the small town of Mayday, also in La Plata County. You know what La Plata stands for? The plate? The Plata. The Plata. The oh, Plata, yeah. That law, that's what got me. That, I was confused. <laughs> All right, you can also see the small town of Klein. Remember when Fenn said, make sure all the lines cross in the right spot. And again, I believe in my heart of hearts, that's him viewing this from the skies Yep. as a, as a pilot. Um, now, let's see. There's something I wanted to skip to here before we get to the solve. Uh, he goes on to say this. You don't have this, Ronnie. I'm sorry. Okay. I added right. this at the last minute. All right. I found a post that piqued my interest. What I haven't told you, Lou, 
is that the location of the chest is haunted. Fenn said only the Phantom knows the location of the treasure chest. And that's when he stumbled upon this post. And this could be a stretch, but it does line up. Um, this is from a person named Chris Yates in an article written in April of 2016 where he describes the word biddy being an old hag. Is that a term that you're familiar with? Hag has come to mean in English either ugly old woman or witch or sorceress. Biddies are mentioned two times in the Thrill of the Chase chapters. The first time in important literature it says borderline biddies. The idea of boundaries is in the word origin of hag. Follow me. Hmm. Old English haga meaning enclosure or portion of woodland designated for cutting. Witches and ghosts were referred to literally as hedge riders, coming from the word hag. The other chapter, Old Biddies, the phrase from the poem, No Place, is used in the chapter title, No Place for Biddies. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The coordinates to the government draw, which is where this search area is, are 37.063135108.171688. Now you say to yourself, what am I supposed to remember that? No, hold on. Here's what Bubba the Love Squirrel did. He converted those letters, uh, those numbers to letters. And it's a very simple coding process. And what it turns out to be is CGOF. A C E A O H A G A F H. Face of a hag. Dun dun dun. Wow. The street view image of the cabin, cabin with that peace sign in the backyard. That is the phantom that Fenn is talking about. He says he's contacted postal workers there in Marvel and they have told him the canyon is haunted. Uh, mm. yeah. He goes on to say, I'm not a believer in ghosts, but that's why your effort will be worth the cold and you must be brave. Yada, yada, yada. Mm. Uh, I believe it's an old gypsy woman. The ghost, the phantom. The ghost, yes. Mm. Uh, and then he's saying that this is from Thrill the Chase, home of my rock man, black sky, blue water, open in the middle. Fenn said, the clues are there if you know where to look. Uh, Lou, do you see what I'm seeing? I'm not saying there's a ghost there. Hell, that could have been arranged by Fenn himself. I know this is but one rabbit hole, but this is the best I have at solving the coordinates. To be honest, I gave up on it. Well, here's the deal. He goes on to say, the treasure chest is buried under a tombstone. He says, I will bet a dime to a nickel. The name on that stone is Wise. However, it probably isn't Wise. It's actually the word Sage. When translated, the word Sage goes on to say... Wise. Wise. Yeah. All right, so let's wrap this up, Ronnie, with the solve. Okay. All right. Marvel, Colorado. Follow trailblazes two ways to Third Canyon where you cross the road. Where warm waters halt, Spring Hollow. Canyon Down is the Third Canyon. Too Far to Walk is the Rock Man. The Home of Brown is the Cannibal Canyon Trout Ranch. No Place for the Meek, Cannibal Canyon. And finally, the end is ever drawing nigh. That is the government draw. So now, my friends, you know allegedly where this treasure is. It's obviously in Marvel, Colorado. According to Bubba. According to Bubba. Now, we do not endorse this. We are not saying take this treasure out right now and spend all your money looking for it. We are just offering this up to the Fen community as a possible, possible solution. 
there is no new Fen news that we are aware of right now. No. And so we bring you this in an effort to either help in a, uh, help you with your solve or maybe get you on the right track or somebody wants to take this and run it up the old proverbial flagpole and yeah. see what happens. Or you could have people that have had no interest or no luck in putting any of these clues together and suddenly they may be willing to go boots on the ground. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way this treasure is going to be found. We've talked about that. Yep. You're not going to stumble across it. No. And you know what? In a legal sense, even if you did, you may not be entitled to that gold. Right. Without having earned it. Put the work in. Yep. Okay, that'll wrap up this episode of the Fen Treasure on Men Are So Smart. We look forward to and encourage you to uh, comment below. Uh, anything you'd like to say, we're here. We respond. We reply to comments. Yeah. Uh, throughout the show, you've seen our email addresses. Perhaps you would like to contact us on a more personal level. You can do that as well. Um, send us your solutions. Oh, and also... If you are going out and searching for the treasure, contact me before you go. Here's why. If you would like to have an expose done on you when you find the treasure and uh, you'd like to have it laid out and your story told, come to us. We'll do it. We're yeah, going to we'll, do it right. We'll do a damn good job of it. Okay. Yep. Uh, now, if you're a, a crazy nut job... <laughs> No, send your emails to Ronnie. I get, I get okay? some of those. It's send them to Ronnie. Yeah. If you're a nut job. <laughs> <laughs> not everyone is. <laughs> no. People that watch our show are not, of course. No. All right. No. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. We hope you find the treasure, and we hope to bring that find to you on our show, which is called Men Are So Smart. Thanks for watching. <laughs>